what's up y'all so we are back with the vlog um i have this footage from stones i didn't put it out right away after i filmed it or after i put it in the show and i want to take some time everyone was like wrapped up in the puzzle drama and you know all the allegations and the investigations so we are back with hands and um this session is not the session I played with Puzzle, unfortunately. That time I played with him, uh, it was very short-lived. I think I only played one hand with him. And very short-lived. So this is a session from that same trip um, where I played in a 1-2-3-6 one, three, one, three, game. It was kind of a weird stake. Also, you will see the commentators are very, very nice to me. So clearly, they're not working with Puzzle at all, as they will clearly be nice to anybody. So that is nice. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to get into these hands. It was really fun playing up there. I will say I really enjoyed the room itself, the majority of the staff. Very helpful, very, very nice. And it's just a cozy, sweet little room in Sacramento. So I hope that... Uh, there's some way to preserve that and they definitely need to take uh, stricter um, security measures obviously and make that work but but I just wanted to make a quick you know, I haven't addressed this on my own blog personally yet um, you know my personal experience was I played actually the last session that Possel uh, ever played and it was a pretty huge game um, over $200,000 on the table. I only came in towards the tail end of the session. Um, I was on the wait list to get in, so uh, I didn't play with them too long. I will say that I was told several times when I first got to the room by everybody, all the locals, oh my God, this guy is so good. Oh my God, he never loses, oh my God. And it was just this, and, and it wasn't a very trolly way. It was like, they really believed it. And honestly, like, you know, how could you not believe it? He always seems to win, he always seems to do good, so. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely wasn't long, wasn't there long enough to really get a good idea of him, but without a doubt, he is the hometown hero of that place. And, uh, I, well, frankly, when I, when I sat in the game, I was a little bit drunk, so I wasn't really being very perceptive to his cheating. So, but, but this session, um... I did sit for the whole, I think the session was like five hours, so I played a very long session, got pretty wild, played some fun hands. Without further ado, here is the Stones live stream. So we're playing the bomb pots every 30 minutes. I believe we're doing $15 bomb pots. So friendly, friendly price. Um, this hand happens uh, about an hour into the night. Up until now, I've been very card dead. $15 bomb pot, it folds to the button. He see bets very small, almost one quarter pot. Marley finally catches a beautiful hand. And we had to force her to play the bomb pot to do it. <laughs> and sadly, it doesn't match up with the board here. Folds back to me in the cutoff, and I have ace queen of spades. So two overs, back doors, up the ass, and um, I just can't fold here. I mean, he's going to be betting on the button very, very wide here. It'd be a very different different situation if the small blind let out. A little bit looser because they know that they can have oh, any two Oh, Marley cards. calls Joe down. Oof, great turn for Marley. Yeah, it is. She just liked her hand. She just knew. Uh, turn obviously makes my life very easy. It is a queen. I check. He bets fairly large, and I call. At this point, really can't see myself folding on any river. And Marley's good. She just has to hold on. I think she will now. I mean, yeah, she calls just, a flop. Yeah, do we go for value on the river? Possibly not because it's a bomb pot. I think we just check call and we flip it and win. And river is a nine, so I guess king ten gets there, but, you know, whatever. He bets uh, almost pot very large, and I snap call, and he has jack. And he has a, he has a deuce, I believe. So kind of standard hand there, but it was a bomb pot. Got myself uh, some momentum early on in the session, and she had some kind of like spidey sense on that hand there. Mm -hmm. Marley here with Jax under the gun plus two. She's going to make it 20 to go. She's going to get looked up by Derek David and it most likely KC here. This player limps under the gun, folds to me with Jax and make it 20. Hijack, cut off, and small blind call, and he calls as well. 
Marley is a boss. She was crushing live at, bi uh, live at the bike the other day. Absolutely. She is a crusher indeed and lots of fun to watch. And actually a really nice person, man. I uh, got a chance to meet her for the first time on Saturday and uh, said hi tonight. She seems really cool, man. I love her personality. Yeah. Top set here for Casey, unfortunately, on a board of all unders for Marley's Jacks. This is, could be trouble. We'll see how slow. You know, she might play it slow, like... She fires 60. We're going to yeah. see some alarm bells going off, though, once Casey... Now, see, Casey could just flat here on this yeah. board. Yeah, flatting would be so good. <laughs> so, flop is 8-7 uh, deuce to uh, spades. Checks to me, uh, probably need to see vet jacks almost always here. Need protection, need value. Um, I bet, I believe, 60. I bet 60, the small blind calls, and he check raises to 260. Now, hate folding jacks in the spot, but it's a huge check raise. I think a lot of people wouldn't be limping uh, eights and sevens pre, but I think this player definitely can. He's playing pretty passive, so it's a big, and, you know, even though the sizing is big, uh, you know, we're playing one three. People tend to under bluff, so I reluctantly let it go, and it turned out to be right. So I look like a hero, and he didn't have a bluff, which sometimes people can have bluffs. But I looked like a hero, and uh, it worked out. Can really hesitate, just kind of look no, back at her cards. Smiling. I love it. Gave yeah. a little smirk, like, "Yeah, I'm not getting in this uh. trap." So now we're getting some fun hand mashups here. Look at this. So it looks like we got a limp out of the gun by Casey as well as J-Dub. Then Marley's going to make it 21 to go with King-10. And I'm getting bored, people. So, you know, I'm looking to play some hands. And this is pretty much as good as I've seen. So that's as good a reason as any to raise it up. Low cards, right? Uh, no. Wow. Queen Jack <laughs> six peels down all clubs. Man. The only player with a club is Marley. She's also open ended. Top two for Casey. Mid pair for J Dub. Top top for Derek. Let's start this party. Yeah. Flop is interesting. It is Queen Jack six all clubs. I have the king of clubs. So I think with the open ender as well, I lean more towards betting because we have that extra value, extra equity. Um, and multi-way pots out of position. I don't like to bet as much, but honestly, it could, go, it could go either way. I do not think that if we bet, we should be betting big. And uh, everybody wants a piece. This pot is escalating quickly. Nine of Whoa, clubs on the turn. Marley. Marley makes a second up flush. Turns a nine of clubs. So perfect card here to just check. Don't, don't really see much merit to betting. We want to put some good hands in our checking range. So we check. Checks around. <laughs> 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 that is true. And now, who doesn't have a straight? Who doesn't have a flat? What in the what is this board? The river is a 10. Um, check, check in front of me. And now I have a clear bet. No reason to bomb it because you're trying to get called by, you know, the third or fourth nuts or even a straight or even two pairs. So... No point in bombing it, but I bet pretty small, and they actually all do let it go. I really <laughs> wanted to see with all the players in this pot if somebody could find a way to pull off that ace-high random bluff club raise. But clearly, Marley's just going to win this one. All right, so this next hand, uh, also pretty interesting. Uh, I think there's a straddle under the gun by Big Egypt um, to 15. You can straddle any amount from any position in these games, which makes it pretty fun. So he straddles 15 under the gun. There is um, four limpers in front of me, and I'm in the big blind here with King Jack off. Could call. I mean, we're all super deep, and that's okay. I think that Egypt is going to be squeezing a decent amount, so I actually wouldn't mind flatting some hands here just because I really think he's just going to squeeze, like, way too much. But um, I, I don't really like calling with a hand this week out of position. It kind of sucks. So I decided to squeeze here myself. Ed, thank you for joining us tonight. Good seeing you, my man. And it looks like Dave's going to come along with his king-queen suited, as is Morgan. I do get called in two spots uh, by the first two limpers, which makes sense, since I should have, logically, the two strongest hands. Um, let me go three ways to the flop here. All right, so we are going to go three-handed here to this flop. A lot of high cards busy. What a seven-high flop? What do you think? Ooh, we do still find a way to find a king here. Wow. Marley connects, as does Dave. Last Both players with one. top pair. Yep. King is, uh, flop is king, eight, deuce, two clubs. So 
could check is reasonable but i actually like to bend these spots i think that on this flop we're only going to be using a small sizing that's just to get some value from hands like you know nines tens jacks and eight to the turn we go three of clubs marley with now a bit of equity pickup here right. turns interesting it's the three of clubs i do have the jack of clubs here so i'm betting i guess for thin value here uh i really think i can get called by worse like pairs with a club or worse kings um i don't expect you know better to fold so i am value betting here but it is pretty thin and again i'm trying to get called by um one pair of hands here so no reason to bet big again i do it small and he pretty quickly folds king queen so one of the only hands i guess um that's beating me that um could fold you know wasn't trying to get king queen to fold but um you know not a bad scenario i did still have a ton of outs but not a bad scenario so all right so in this hand we have a straddle under the gun to six dollars uh the first position limps. Second position makes it $40. All right, so we're going to start out with this fun matchup here. Morgan under the gun right off the bat on the triple blind. It's just going to flat with ace-jack suited. Paul's going to pop it up with ace-queen. Folds to me on the button. I have ace, eight of clubs. Again, kind of loose, but we're super, super deep on the button. That was, Yeah, yeah, grand. Uh, clearly, clearly. Let there be the case ace, folks. Flop is ace, king, three. Checks to me. They are playing pretty passively overall, though, so I think it's fine to check. Uh, another spot, I think you could honestly just do both some of the time, but... Everybody getting sneaky with it. Mm. Now Morgan picking up a flush draw on the turn. Meanwhile, Paul's still leading. Turn is the six of hearts, bringing two flush draws. The limper leads right out for almost pot. Yeah, that's what I meant. Thank you, life's not fair for me. I clearly didn't say that, though, so... <laughs> You guys are funny. It's all right. I don't. I don't mind. You know, I, I make mistakes all night. So Morgan takes the betting line here. He fires one ten. <laughs> this is so crazy. All three opponents check the flop. Everybody's basically playing the I don't have an ace game. And gets quickly called by the preflop raiser. It's on me. You can tell by my facial expression. I'm actually not happy right now. But, you know, if either one of them has an ace, I'm pretty much dead. I'm really not happy about the situation, but I decided to call in position and just kind of play some rivers and see what happens. And oh my an eight God. ball on the river, non-heart, connects wow. Marley. And the river is gin for me, so running pretty good here. River's an eight, and um, the lumper bets again, gets quickly called uh, by the preflop raiser. He says, how do all three of these players have an ace? Right? So Morgan's gonna continue. He's actually betting for value here. He's not turning his hand into a bluff. Paul's in the tank. He's got Marley behind him. This is great. I mean, three-way pot, you could easily have some flush draws that were missed between your opponents. They don't all have to have aces like they do here. You could have some missed spades, missed hearts. And now Paul calls and Marley's like, in what world am I not good here? I think about making a very thin value ra raise here. Um, I'm pretty sure I have the best hand often. The, th the shit that was going through my head was that if I, you know, almost min click it and then I get jammed on by him for not that much more, um, I really gonna hate my life. All right, so in this hand, um, I have a couple limpers in front of me. I make it uh, 35 with ace queen off. On this train. It's true. Okay. It's All crazy. Right. <laughs> The road to nowhere. All right, ace queen for Marley here, making it 35 to go from the hijack. We do have commentator emotes. We do. And it looks like Paul is going to come along here with his threes, as is KC. J-Dub's going to get out of the way, so we're going to go three-handed to the flop here. Flop is eight. Eight, three, deuce, rainbow. It's going to be bored. I'm going to be seabedding quite often in position. Uh, just want to deny to slip out of hands here. So checks to me. I bet about half pot and get called by the by both. Over to her. She's going to fire 55, it looks like. And Paul is just going to elect to flat. This is definitely a hand that Paul Ooh. won't have to turn his hand into a bluff. We could say that much. Let's see where KC is sitting at here, though. KC is going to flat as well. Yeah, like this board is so dry again. Ace of diamonds on the turn. What do you guys think? I love it. Ace of diamonds? Question mark? Ace oh of clubs! God, so Ace of clubs! 
turn is an ace and the straddle leads right out pretty large into us. So there should be alarm bells going off here. Uh, when one of your cards comes and then people are betting into you, it should be, you should be hearing fucking alarm bells. I, I don't think I can fold a hand this good at this point, but it should, I should be very concerned. And it looks like Marley is gonna come along. King of clubs peels on the river. You can see Paul's set of threes are best. Paul checks. And the river is a king bringing it back to our flush and he checks. Now I guess I love, you guys I know I love thin value, but I don't really think this is that thin. I mean, I guess we could check back. I don't really expect him to be checking too many good hands here. It is a good play. Um, I guess the back door flush did get there, so maybe that was a little bit of a scare card for him, but I check any quickly snap calls with a set, so well played by him. Uh, if he bet river, I might have called and might have folded. Who knows? Um, but it was a spot I decided to get a little bit thin and uh, it did not work out. Yeah. J-Dub's gonna, <laughs> J -Dub's gonna open under the gun here with 5-7 suited and Marley's gonna find a quick 3-bet up with Ace-Queen suited. Under the gun makes it 10. I'm next to act with Ace-Queen of Diamonds. I decide to ISO him uh, to 35. He quickly calls. And the driving in the Tesla next to you is just sleeping and you're like, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna be over here away from that. <laughs> Good talk. See you out there. Open ended yeah, and a backdoor diamond draw Marley for Marley hits the top pair. Top kicker. 69% for her. Flop is queen four six rainbow. One diamond. He checks and I bet 30 here. Uh, don't need a bit big on a board texture like this. Gusting. Oh god, why do I see these things and I then don't they know. happen? Stop it. And then they happen. Now top pair nut flush draw for Marley she already makes the nut straight for J-Dub. goes from 69 to 13% on the turn. Flush. This is going to get disgusting, people. Marley bets 100. Turn is gin. Turn is the biggest action card, honestly, that there could ever be. It's the eight of diamonds, so. Guys, I say these things and they just happen. This Stones Live is just, ouch. Just straight ouch town, population everyone. All right, and now we're coming in for a check raise. To, is he gonna min, don't, is he gonna min click? How do you ever min click? No, he's coming in for more, but it's almost a min click. He's gonna, looks like he's gonna make She's it about 250. He's gonna have a hard time folding here. Top pair, top kicker, and the nut flush draw. Um, and he check raises to 240. We're pretty deep here. Nothing to do here but call. She's gonna get paid. That's what I mean. 13%, here we go. Ah! Yes! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Chat. And both players are absolutely shaking in their seat right now and he checks and she's gonna fire. God, she's and... doing a good job and not even looking interested too. Oh wow, this is gonna be disgusting. I love her face, it's stone cold right now. This is gonna get nasty, guys, buckle up. All the money's going for Marley. All in, yeah. she says all in. Yeah, it's gotta be. Oh god. And instantly oh. called. Oh, 850. Oh, 850, well, I mean. Instantly called. Hefty. The Hefty. pot was, there was a slight overbet. It was like 650 or something like that in the pot. Wow. I'm not sure. Wow. Absolutely nothing you can do there in J-Dub's I love the size of the bet. It was sick for her to bet that much too and like just get paid off immediately. When people check raise you on the turn, they've got a good hand. And like I said, people are erring towards the side of um, passive. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that he's got a very good hand. Uh, Minimum a set, I'm pretty sure. So I should consider shoving, which would be like a 2x pot overbet. And I decide to just bet like 1.3x pot. I bet 850 into about 615. So pretty huge bet. Just because I know he always has a value hand here. The only reason why I didn't jam is because I feel like I don't want him to be hero folding straights or sets or top two or something so trying to get called every single time and i think um 850 is a good amount so he snap calls obviously he had a flush so cooler for him really sick hand but really good way to end my night so i think i ended up winning um like 2400 in this game uh played a little bit off stream um and that was it so you know 
my pasta was not in this game, so I had a chance to win. I did win. Uh, I did run pretty good. I did enjoy myself at Stones. You know, I had a really good time. Of course, like, it, it always sucks to see something like this happen, but, you know, I think that it's going to be good long term. We're going to see uh, people cracking down on security measures, people cracking down on uh, shady behavior, so... Just be aware of it next time you're playing in a casino or a home game. Keep your eyes open and uh, make sure you look out for it. I will be back soon with another vlog for you guys. More hands, more action. So uh, thanks for watching, as always. And I'll see you next time.